Okay, when I was going to enter Mount Cornet to do some off-screen training, we end up having an unexpected encounter, so here we go. Hi, Lucas. How's your Pokedex coming along? Me? Oh, sorry. I'm somewhere between fantastic and, uh, hopeless. But this isn't about me. I've got something nice for you. Lucas, choose which hand you want. Uh, I'll go right. I see you want the Verse Seeker. I'm impressed with you, Lucas. You know what's important. And here we have the Versus Seeker. Using that Versus Seeker, you can find trainers who want to rematch with you. Oh, Lucas, do you also have a, a Pokatch? Yep, you do. You can have this too, then. You deserve for all your hard work. And that is the Dowsing Machine. The Dowsing Machine locates unseeable items. The Dowsing Machine is something you should touch often. It will tell you if there is an item on the ground that you can't see. I think there's something here even. You should, you should try it out. Okay, let's keep working on our Pokedexes. Professor Rowan has counted on us. I'll see you later. Well, now that's out of the way. Be starting the episode and... Well, now. How are we doing, folks? Adam Smasher 93 here, and welcome back to Pokemon Platinum. When we last left off, we went through Wayward Cave and just did some trainer battling and escorted a lost trainer out of there. And now, got my Gyarados back, got to level 23, just showing you. Did a little off screen training, got Gyarados. <laughs> Sorry about that. Taught Gyarados Dragon Rage off screen. Staravia is level 30 and now knows. Alright, no. This Staravia hasn't changed. None of my Pokemon have changed very much. Gabite's level 28. The only change, it now knows Slash. I decided to get rid of Takedown. Sure, it's a little weaker, but it has a high critical hit ratio and it's more accurate. Less of a reckless move. And now, we are gonna go in Mount Cornet. And there's a few new Pokemon here we can discover. First up is Clefairy. Clefairy, as a Pokemon, it's not a bad Pokemon. And Clefa evolves into Clefairy with high friendship. And I'll finish with Clefairy after I talk after talking to this guy. According to one theory, Mount Cornet is where the Sinnoh region began. In a newly created world, a world where only time flowed and space expanded, there should have been no strife. But what became of that world? Because the human spirit is weak and incomplete, strife has spread. This world is being ruined by it. I find this state of affairs to be deplorable. Well, let me tell you this. There are good and bad things, though. Alright, back to Kaferi. At, at, with the, after the split in Generations 1 and 2, Kaferi got a little bit of a buff, because its special attack stats stayed the same as its special in Gen 1. It got a slight boost in its special defense. Alright, enough of that. Next Pokemon I want to talk about is... Metatite. Metatite, as a Pokemon, stats say it's not so good with attack, but its ability pure power says otherwise. And thanks to that ability, you'll have yourself a very good attacker. And I like that in a Pokemon. Yep, we got some required battles here. Anyways. Next Pokemon you can discover in Mount Cornet is Nosepass. Nosepass, what you see right here, right now. Let me tell you this, it's more on the defensive side. It's a great physical wall and an all right special wall as well. But when you get this thing evolved at Mount Cornet into a Probo Pass, you will have yourself an all around tank. Alright, enough of those pass. Next Pokemon is Chingling. Chingling! 
pretty interesting Pokemon. For a baby Pokemon, it's not too bad. It, it evolves into Chimeco with high friendship during the night. The only problem I have with these two is the moves just doesn't suit them well. Alright. Now going into this place. There are three new Pokemon. Why did I just do that? What was I going to say? There are three new Pokemon to discover in this place. First Pokemon is Ralts. Ralts! It starts off not so good. It's, it is a pure psychic type until Gen 6, and it's one of the many Pokemon to get the fairy type treatment. And when it evolves into Curlia, you have a decision to make. You can continue leveling it to 30 into a... Into a... Gardevoir. Or if it's male, give it a Dawnstone and evolve it into... Into a... Why can't I speak? Gallade. Alright. Next Pokemon is what I have on the on battling against Bond's life. That Pokemon is the evolved form of Badoop, Roselia. Roselia is a good special attacker. And like I said before, evolve it with a shiny stone and it evolve it to a Ro Rose Raid with a shiny stone. And you'll have yourself a great special attacker. And I plan to evolve my Roselia into Rose Raid. And then there's one more Pokemon out there you can find in... Hi, Baneary. I'm trying to think what the last Pokemon was. Oh, thank goodness that you happened to be there. If it weren't for you, who knows how far away my Baneary could have run. Baby Baneary, back into the Pokeball you go. I'm Kira. I'm a Pokemon contest judge. Be sure to drop by the contest hall so I can thank you properly. Oh yeah! Last Pokemon you can find in the in the area is Bee Barrel. Bee Barrel, just like with its predecessor, Bee Doof. Recommend it more of an HM slave. Enough said. But it has some good attacks. Oh my hero! Oh hi, Lucas. Wait, no, really. Johanna's your mom, so you might be a contest star. Oh, I don't know about that. I've never spoken to Lucas about contests. I'm surprised you two know each other, though. Oh yes, that's right. I need to thank you for earlier. Please take this accessory. And we get the Glitter Powder. Put that accessory on your Pokemon before a contest. It will lend a nice touch of sophistication and glamour. I'm a contest judge, so come join us for a different kind of fun. If you're unsure of yourself, we also offer practice sessions. Okay, Johanna. I'll see you. Were you surprised to see me, Lucas? I got bored, so I came out to Heart Home for a little vacation. I'm just as surprised to see you here, my dear. But are you serious about entering contests not dressed that way? When your Pokemon's all dressed up, you can't be dressed your usual way. Put this on for a little glamour. And that, we get the tuxedo. I'm sure it'll look good on you. After all, I chose it. Go enjoy the contest, honey. Contests will give you a different look at the many charms of Pokemon. It should be an eye-opening experience, you. Bye now! I hate to inform you, but I'm not much of a contest guy. I'm more into battling. And here we'll talk to her here. Yes, I beg your pardon? Ah. Oi. Contests you are here for? I hope very much you enjoy them. Incidentally, Fantina, the gym leader of Hartholm, is also a contestant. She is, how do you say, just fantastic? Fantina being myself, of course. Hmm, let me see. You also seem to be just strong. <laughs> and Finn, so it shall be. I wait for you at the gym. Well, see you there. 
All right. And let's say we. Oh, I was looking at at the screen there. This thing is lagging. There we go. Hey there, how's it going, Champ to be? This gym seems to be kind of wicked. What's wicked about it? I'll tell you, first it's pitch black. Oh, no worries, though. I have a flashlight right here for you. Also, there are the usual gym trainers. They have flashlights, too. If you cast a light on one, or they catch you in the lights, the battle's on. Okay, now, this is really important. I'm about to... It's about the tiles on the floors. First, find the one blue tile in the room and memorize the mark on it. Next, head for the red door with the same mark on it. Advance to the correct red doors to reach the gym. If you choose the wrong door, you get sent back here, though. That's how this place is. Go get him, champ to be. Okay. Let's see who I want to put. Yeah, I'll keep Gyarados out. I'll battle you. Okay, I was gonna... Boo, did I scare you? The bat, this battle will. I'm not too worried. Alright, got Mistrevis here. Hi, Mistrevis. Meet my Gyarados. Even though he is blue, unlike the Gyarados, the red Gyarados I had in Johto, but I still have him on my team nonetheless. Oh, I hate that move so much. You are gonna have this pain alone. Adios, no pain splits for you. Alright, Gyarados is leveled up. Uh, whoopsie, that didn't end well. It didn't. So that triangle there will match the triangle up here. And I'll battle this trainer next. Hey now, you're not even close to the door yet. You have to beat me before you can go, you know. Yeah, I know. I intend to battle all you trainers before taking on the gym leader for some good experience and training. Hi, Gasly. How's it going? Meet my Gyarados. He's going on a rampage at the gym. But don't worry, just against your Pokemon. All right, we're good to go here. Ooh, Drifloon. Okay. Let me just do another bite attack. And we'll be on our way. Oh, that's right, Aftermath. I keep forgetting about that ability. But not to mention, Gyarados leveled up again. Arg, I should have dazzled you by shining my light in your eyes. That's not nice, kid. Don't you ever shine a light in someone's eyes. You might get beaten up for that. Just so you know. Give it a little potion. And we're good to go. Let's go up here. Into the next room. Which is a whole lot bigger. This trainer. Eek, that's so bright. Surprise attack. Alright, let's go then. Get the drift balloon going on. Gyarados, get on out there. Okay. I think it's time we spam more bites. Ah, oh, aftermath. Why, Aftermath? Now watch this Drifloon have another Aftermath. I'm actually expecting it this time. I'm gonna pop the balloon with Bite. Or the Drifloon. Aftermath hurts me again. But I'm fine. It's fine. Man, Gyarados is getting a lot of training against these trainers. 420 gold money. 
I'll battle you next. Be lost? Be you join yourself? Ah, uh, yeah. Join myself against you trainers here. Okay, we got another ghastly. Let's see, I have a good strategy when I get to the end after getting all eight badges. And we got an X defend. Whoop de frickin' do. And it wasn't enough. Gyarados is too strong. Let me guess, you are enjoying yourself. Yep, pretty much. Okay. You're next. What does it feel like taking one step after another into darkness? Ah, just enjoying the battles, getting to the gym leader. Ooh, Haunter! Things are getting interesting. Let me cut your attack strength. And then start fighting away. That sucker punch isn't gonna do much damage. Because I weakened you with Intimidate. And I took you out in one hit with Bite. I'm just gonna keep biting ghost types. Yup, that'll be my title for this episode. Biting Ghosts. Alright. <laughs> I just got a good episode title. Ooh, even though Mischievous survived. But flinched! You know, maybe I should have done a, a Dragon Rage after that. Whoopsie. Oh well, what's done is done. You're the kind of person who can keep going forward even into the unknown. I make sure I'm careful enough to not get lost. Heal up my Gyarados, and battle one more trainer. What? Were you just dawdling around? Dawdling around, hoping I'd notice you for a battle? You know you're ge going to get whooped here, don't you? Um, we'll just have to see here. Gyarados. It's time to take a bite. After I get sucker punched, of course. I'm having an easy time right now. Okay, another ghastly. Okay, do another bite. Should be good to go. Boom, there it is. Ah, Haunter. Time for another bite. Man, this is getting this is too easy right now. Although Mr. Viz had a kind of a decent defense. You know what? I'm gonna make you forget Splash. The worst thing to have. I'd rather be leering than splashing, though. I kinda deserved that, didn't I? I gotta stop mouthing off, and it stopped early. Did I face you already? Yes, I did. running into the dust skull statues. So there's the sun here, and the sun is over there. And here we are. I'm ready. Oh ho ho ho. Finally you have arrived. Since I came to this country, always I try to learn new things. They hold contests in this city. I say to myself, Edvin, I will excel. That is why I dress this way. Sest un performance. Also, I study Pokemon very much. I have come to be gym leader. And, uh, so it shall be that you challenge me. But I shall win. That is what a gym leader does, non. That's what you're supposed to do, but there are trainers that will beat you and earn the badge, though. Alright, we face gym leader Fantina. 
Fantine will have three Pokemon. First Pokemon is Duskull, level 24, pure ghost type, levitate for the ability. Will O Wisp, Future Sights, Shadow Sneak, Pursuit. And I'm gonna start this off with a bite. Uh, and we continue this lucky streak here. Let's see what we got next. Next up, Haunter, level 24, Ghost Poison type, Levitate for the ability. Shadow Claw, Sucker Punch, Confuse Ray, and Hypnosis. Once again, all the one hitters. And her last Pokemon is Miss Magius. Level 26, pure ghost type, levitate for the ability, citrus berry for the held item. Oh heavens, what is this? Is this my final Pokemon? Moves are Shadow Ball, Spy Beam, Magical Leaf, and Confuse Ray. And holy crap, we might be in some trouble here. Damn it. And the high special attack and Shadow Ball, not gonna be so well, but it's already snapped out of confusion. If I could get... Oh yeah, the Citrus Berry. I think one more bite will do it. If Gyarados can survive this. Otherwise, I'll send out Staravia or Luxray. But I don't need to do that, because it's game over. Good job! Gyarados! You are so fantastically strong. Hey, this thing goes too quick. I am dumbfounded. So very, very strong. You, your Pokemon, so strong. Your Pokemon is, your power is admirable. I shall honor you it with this gym badge. And that is the Relic Badge. That badge will let you use the Titan Move Defog outside of battle. Also, you can make use of this technical machine. This, that is what I think. And that is TM65. That TM65, it contains Shadow Claw. A very startling move it is. It's hits turn critical often. Well, see you around, I have plenty of time left. Go ahead and heal my Pokemon. And the music is lagging right now. Okay, don't know why it's doing that. But oh well, before I move on, I'm going to go up to Amity Square here. I wonder if it's during the day it does that. I bring out in Amity Square. You may go for a stroll with a cute Pokemon. Okay, would you like to go for a stroll with your Monferno? Sure. Please do enjoy your time together. Just the two of you, okay? We're just taking a stroll here. Ooh, I just can't believe it. I'm so overjoyed with my Pikachu. Wherever I go, my Pikachu follows me without hesitation. Ah ha! It's just the two of us. Woohoo! Okay. If there's any items here. Where'd that take me? Oh! Okay! We got TM45! That is attract! Yeah, you are pretty happy. Hey, hello, Drifloon. Is there anything else I could do here? Just exploring around this place. TM43! That is secret power! I think after this I got time for one more thing. I think that'll just do it. That's that's the point of Amity Square. You take a, take a 
go with your Pokemon. Are you feeling refreshed? Please come again, okay? All right. And then... I think this place kind of lags the... Oh, hello. I'm visiting here all the way from the Hoenn region. I had been hoping to find a contest to call, but being new, I lost my way. Fortunately, the local people are very... Awesome. Yeah... Don't have time for that. Oh, let's go on the fan club next. And there's nothing much here. Hello, hello! How I say, do you do? I'm the Pokemon Fair Club Chanman. Indeed, yes I am. When you wish to treat your Pokemon to a treat, what I say, do you do? If I may say so, and I will, I feed Poffins to my Pokemon. And why I say would I do that? Because the giving of Poffins is a way of expressing your love. For example, if I were to give a sweet Poffin, the Pokemon eating it would become more cute. For example, a spicy Poffin will add to the coolness of a Pokemon. In such ways, I say the Poffins have nothing but goodness for Pokemon. Therefore, I declare this Poffin case to be a gift from me to you. And that we get the Poffin case! I urge you to fill it with Poffins to be generous in dispensing them to your Pokemon. Alright, now that's out of the way. Before I end things off, let's talk to this guy. I have a professor friend and this is what he told me. If you leave a pair of Pokemon with the daycare, sometimes eggs are found. Well, things are that are like eggs anyways. I wonder how Professor Elm is doing these days. He was always a quiet sort and didn't really stand out. Go through here. And hi, Barry, how's it going? Um, let's see. I have a feeling we're gonna be battling him. Yeah, we're definitely gonna be battling him. Hello. Ta da! Kept me waiting again, Lucas. Let's see how much tougher you and I have gotten. Right here, right now. Hey, you're, you're a trainer now. You're expecting to be ready for a battle. No whining, no waiting. Let's get the show started. No, no, I'm ready for a battle. We face Barry once again, and this time, he will have four Pokemon on his team. And let's just wait, we got Staravia out. Okay, first is Staravia, level 25. Normal flying type, intimidate for the ability. Double team, wing attack, quick attack, and endeavor. I'm gonna start things off with a fight. Gyarados has been on a roll this episode. Even though that didn't do too much damage. I'm just trying to refrain from using Luxray until I need to... Oh yeah? I'll show you something wicked too! Oh, come on! Again with Double Team? Am I gonna have to jump cut? Come on! Uh, hey, missing for two turns in a row, that's stupid. If I had to miss a third turn in a row, I would lose my mind. And Staravia survived, and it's spamming the double team like no tomorrow. This event didn't survive that, couldn't dodge that. Give me the experience. Who we got next? Ah, I just lost it. Right here. Next Pokemon is Ponyta, level 23. Pure fire type, flash fire for the ability. Tackle, Ember, Growl, Tail Whip. Ugh. I feel Gyarados is already caught up. Time for Dragon Rage. Ah, uh, yeah. All right, next Pokemon. Ooh, Brinplup, level 27. Pure Water type, torn for the ability. Growl, Pluck, no Peck, Bubble Beam, Metal Claw. 
And I'll go ahead and use a Giga Drain. Adios, Printplup. Wow, critical hit. This is easy. All right, Barry's last Pokemon is Roselia. Level 23. What well, Grass Poison type, natural cure for the ability. Stun Spore, Mega Drain, Poison Sting, Leech Seed. All right. Give this thing an Ember and call it a day. Or maybe not. Hey, burn though! Aw, oh, you missed! What the? We're in trouble? But there's no giving up on me. Well, it's game over. I win. Alright! We have defeated Barry again. What just happened? You're telling me I lost? Well, you did. Wah! It goes to show my surefire winning strategy doesn't work. Say, hey Lucas, remember what I told you before? Make sure all your attacks hit. Avoid every enemy attack. I thought that was a wicked strategy, but it doesn't work worth beans. I guess I'd have to grind it out and toughen up the team a bit at the time. Anyway, I'm off to Salacion Town. See ya, Lucas. You'll be shocked by my growth the next time we meet. Well, I'll go there too, but we are all out of time for this episode, so thank you guys so much for watching. Got ideas for recommended Pokemon for me, especially with me playing Gen 5 games coming up after this Let's Play? Let me know in the comment section below. Until then, I'm Adam Smasher 93 and I'll see you guys in the next episode, where we will make our way towards Salacion Town. See you guys later.